My beloved child, I will shatter the chains that bind you, setting you free to live independently, in tune only with my will. This journey is ours alone. Keep it close to your heart. Remain silent about your endeavors. Do not reveal our plans. Many around you, driven by envy and indiscretion, might seek to undermine your efforts by recalling past failures. You have at times moved ahead without my blessing, embarking on ventures doomed from the start, not grounded on the firm foundation I provide. You've seen dreams built on shifting sands disappear at the rising tide of troubles. Today marks a turning point. Your heart has undergone a profound transformation. Now fully reliant on me, you are set for success in all your undertakings. As I have promised, you will be abundantly blessed. Doors will open for you, and burdensome situations will find resolution. I will soften the hearts of those around you, friends, family, judges, and authorities, so that they will view you with favor and act on your behalf. Fear not the actions of others as long as you place your trust in me and navigate life with wisdom. No one will be able to oppose you successfully. Those who attempt to do so will find themselves subdued and unable to rise against you again. Many will recoil in fear, hesitant to harm you or your loved ones. Remember, I am with you every day, until the very end. Your dreams are inspiring and your plans ambitious, but the blessings I have in store for you surpass even those. The words you hear from me today are meant to empower you supernaturally. This promise extends to all who cherish me, who diligently seek my presence, are concerned with obeying my commands, yearn to listen to my voice, and endeavor to do good to all. My promises come to life in those who acknowledge their shortcomings, who are weary from the repercussions of their errors, who recognize their missteps but are eager to amend their ways and allow me to reshape their hearts and guide their futures. My word is vibrant and active. When I send it into your home, it will accomplish what I intend, and it will not return to me void. It will collect your tears, gather your cries of anguish, and secure your transgressions, sealing them away. I have cleansed you with my blood. Your sins are cast into the depths of the sea. Your suffering will be turned into anthems of praise, your tears into streams of refreshing waters, bringing back to you renewed strength and joy. Believe simply and humbly in what I say and all your endeavors will flourish, surrounded by my guardian angels who shield you from harm. While not everything may unfold as you desire, do not be disheartened. My angels wage a formidable battle on behalf of your deepest yearnings. You must stand firm and persevere. Mere tears accomplish little, but I am here to heal and comfort you. I want you to revive your dreams and embrace hope anew. The gates of heaven are poised to open, releasing a flood of immense blessings I have crafted for you since the dawn of creation. I recognize the challenges in your path. Truly valuable things require time to mature. I ask for your dedication and a heart grateful for the journey. Like a potter with clay, I am shaping you removing what is broken to reveal and enhance the beauty and goodness within you. Above all, remember this. My love for you is unchanging, a treasure that cannot be stolen or diminished. Respond to me now. Tell me you believe in my words, that they inspire you to persist in your faith despite the struggles. I remind you today that you are not alone. Just yesterday, your heart ached from unexpected tribulations, betrayals, and abandonment by those you thought cared deeply for you. They turned away when you most needed support. I see your sadness, 
and I feel it too. But know this. Your tears and your cries have ascended to my throne in heaven, where your future is shaped, where all illness finds healing, where every problem meets its solution, and where I offer you comfort in your moments of brokenness. You are never forsaken, I have not left your side. While those you trusted may have drifted away, my love for you only grows stronger each day, and it will forever remain so. Live with the confidence that I am always here to listen, that, through my sacrifice, you have direct access to my presence. In my company, you can lay down your worries and seek my counsel. I will listen with infinite patience and love, as a true friend would. Do not hold back your tears. Let them flow. It is better to weep and release the burdens of your soul, so I can refill you with my peace. I must share a profound truth with you. After your tears, joy will surely follow, and your happiness will be profound, for the season of blessing has come. You are now prepared to truly appreciate what I bestow upon you. Each challenge you faced has been molding you for this glorious moment. Now is the time for the heavens to open wide, pouring out blessings abundant upon you. In the quiet moments, feel my peace envelop you. Though others may depart from your side, remember, I'm ever present to hold and comfort you. You are growing stronger with each passing day, drawing closer to me, understanding my words, and in doing so, you show your loyalty, wisdom, and intelligence. When you close your eyes today and reflect on these words, you will sense my loving embrace healing your spirit. You are never alone. My presence fills your soul with boundless joy. I have witnessed your trials and the resilience you possess. Life has hurled injustices and obstacles in your path, but I see the depths of your heart and its tender movements. You cry out for guidance, illumination, and aid. Darkness does not bring you fear or solitude, for I am steadfast by your side. Find solace in my presence and my truth. I am with you, even if unseen. Feel my presence each night as you enter your room. Close the door behind you. Kneel by your bed to pray and converse with me. I am there with you, granting you my peace, infusing you with my love and rejuvenating your faith. I remain vigilantly by your side, dispatching my angels to guard you against the fears of the night. This is the source of your strength each morning, the reason you can rise and face another day, prepared to fight and achieve victory. I am your foundation when fear and anxiety seek to encroach upon your peace. I stand guard repelling these intrusions, preventing them from sapping your vigor or clouding your spirit. Reflect on the nights you've gone to bed burdened by sorrow, only to awaken with a heart calm, fortified, and rejuvenated. Remember, your trials will never surpass the power of your God. Though night may usher in weeping, the joy I provide arrives with the dawn. Experience my love, Listen to my voice and envision the brightest future possible for yourself. No matter how splendid your dreams, they pale in comparison to what I have planned for you. I am preparing a future filled with love, unity, prosperity, and open doors. Hold tightly to your faith. Do not let sin gain a foothold in your life. Stand resolute, and when negative thoughts attempt to lure you away, recall my promises and remain steadfast in my way. In moments of confusion, when you're uncertain of your next steps, when your strength seems to falter and the path ahead is obscured, come to me in prayer. Speak with me. Bask in my love. Let my peace wash over you, dispelling every fear and doubt. Commit to this, and I assure you, no adversary will prevail against you. Overwhelming feelings 
will not conquer your spirit. I will bestow upon you my peace, fortifying you with the resolve to make wise decisions on your journey. As your father, your protector and your guide, rest assured that no harm will come near you when I am by your side. I am ever present, always attentive to your prayers. I will restore to you what is rightfully yours and continue to bless you abundantly. Embrace these blessings and do not fear those who try to intimidate you. You are extraordinarily favored, privy to words and revelations that many have not known. Maintain your focus and do not be led astray. Despite the envy of others who have sought to unsettle you, to undermine and rob you, speaking ill of you, you stand resilient. Your faith remains unshaken. I am delighted that you have learned to prioritize what truly matters, disregarding the harmful words and schemes of your adversaries. The light emanating from you is blinding to them. My presence in your life disturbs them, and the favor I bestow upon your household enrages them to the point of sleeplessness. While these envious souls toss and turn, you can sleep peacefully, secure in the knowledge that I am watching over you, your family, your home, and your workplace. I will soothe their spirits and distract them with other pursuits, for they have seen that their efforts to distress you are futile. Their lives are in disarray because they have rejected my word and my love. Though I offered them guidance for their well-being, they chose to ignore it and turned away from me. But you, my child, chose a different path. You recognize that I am the answer to all your troubles. You surrendered to my will wholeheartedly, embracing my word without a shred of doubt. This pleases me greatly and I am committed to guiding and blessing you continually. Not everyone has opened their heart as you have. Look around. Many could be reveling in my love, yet they have allowed their hearts to grow hard. They face challenges and quickly point fingers at me for their misfortunes. You, however, have come to understand that your joy and your future are not tied to the whims of others. They hinge solely on my provision and grace. Continue on this path. With each passing day, you are becoming stronger, more resilient. Soon, even those who once opposed you will seek you out, curious about the faith that sustains you. A more significant blessing lies ahead on your journey. Maintain your faith and loyalty and know that I am with you every day. Persist in your struggles, never yielding to despair. My love for you is boundless and I promise to honor you openly. Those who once scoffed will stand back in surprise and shame. The envious who wished for your downfall will witness the merits of placing their trust in me. Your omnipotent God, your loving Heavenly Father. I have watched as you endured great trials. The taunts of your adversaries were loud, shaking your confidence. They brought you to tears, yet through these trials, your faith emerged purer than ever your anguish transforming into fortitude, your fears into boldness, your worries into well-being, and your grief into gladness. Tremendous blessings are on their way to you. I am inscribing this promise upon your heart. It is a pledge you will not forget. Each morning as you awaken, these assurances will echo in your soul. Gone are the days of waking, submerged in discouragement and mourning. You are no longer confined. The chains are shattered. Every curse that once haunted your steps has been expelled. Embrace my word with faith, embedded in your thoughts. Write it down, perhaps on a slip of paper, and place it in your Bible at the beginning of Psalm 23. Each night, before you sleep, recite my word. Close your eyes and affirm, Jesus, I trust in you. In those moments, feel my presence right beside you. 
Declare it with confidence. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Immerse yourself in the entirety of this psalm, for I am guiding you to it. Heed my instructions, and you will discover a new strength within you, as though you were an eagle soaring on the updrafts of faith. From these heights you will glimpse the fresh blessings I am preparing to bestow upon you. Tomorrow, place your Bible by your bedside. In the quiet of the early morning, I will gently awaken you. I will whisper to you, softly guiding you through sacred scriptures and revealing wondrous visions meant just for you. Trust in me and be courageous, for I am your steadfast support in times of need. Do not lose heart. I am ever with you. My love surrounds you. Find peace in my embrace and experience the profound tranquility I'm extending to you at this moment. Even as the world around you may shake and others grow anxious, know that you and your family are secure. My provision for you is unfailing. In times of distress and scarcity, I am your provider. Be assured that I know precisely what I am doing. The trials you encounter, even those that seem enduring, are ultimately for your blessing. I speak to you now with utmost love and extend hope to guide you through your trials. When you find yourself in dire need, know that I am near, ready to offer assistance. I am your sanctuary and your strength sustaining you with my grace, faithfulness, and patience. Hold fast to your trust in me, and remember these words I lovingly repeat to you. Trust, trust, trust in me. Now tell me, to whom else would you turn? We share an eternal bond, so there is no need to despair when all else appears bleak. Remember, I am forever with you. I will never forsake you. There is nothing in this universe that could compel me to leave your side. At times, impatience may grip you as you wonder how to cope with your challenges. But remember, my promises are clear and unwavering. Focus on what truly matters. Avoid wasting time on trivial pursuits or letting falsehoods and slander invade your thoughts. Do not dwell on things that bring guilt or sap your joy. Stay clear of obsessing over others' actions and do not neglect your own path. Remember your family, whether they stand by you or seem indifferent. Whether they express love or not, do not be disheartened. I have endowed you with maturity and wisdom. Let go of the emotions that diminish your joy and concentrate on your calling. You are tasked with caring for your loved ones. You are the guardian of your home, responsible for providing through your efforts, your work, your attentiveness, and your prayers. Therefore, I urge you not to squander the days I have granted you. I bless you with health and vigor. As you extend blessings to those around you, so too will I increase your strength and ensure your table is abundantly supplied. Prioritize my kingdom and my righteousness, and all else you need will be provided. This promise has long guided those who fully trust in me and move confidently toward their destiny. With gentle assurance, I promise not only to provide the seeds you need to sow, but also the tools required to cultivate them. Each challenge you encounter will transform into a chance for you to witness my power and provision. When life's challenges arise, remember the simplicity of your childhood faith. Close your eyes. Speak to me with trust and sincerity, just as you once did. Embrace that innocent, pure faith without fear or hesitation. Never believe that I'm here to punish or that I might ignore your prayers. Above all, my deepest desire is for you to love me, to truly know me, and to share eternity with me, ensuring you and your loved ones are safeguarded from harm 
and shielded against all evil. I yearn to demonstrate my love to you in the most tender and miraculous ways. Come to me exactly as you are. There's no need to conceal your troubles or mask your imperfections. Your weaknesses and doubts don't dismay me. Rather, I wish for your success in every aspect of life. In me, you will find all you need for true prosperity. Trust in my promise to lead you to a life filled with spiritual richness, devoid of debt and worry. The cycle of broken promises will end. You will meet your obligations on time and still have enough to share with others. You may sometimes feel that your earnings are inadequate, that despite your efforts, they fall short of your family's needs. But remember, I am your shepherd and you are my sheep. It is my duty and joy to protect you, to nurture you and to ensure there is always bread on your table. Fulfill your role, sit in stillness to absorb my word. Be steadfast and brave in your work and studies. Remain committed, speak kindly of others. Treat everyone with respect, be gentle and refrain from complaining. Do not disregard these words. Let me lead you to the places I have planned for you. You will soon witness the most profound display of love you've ever experienced. I will comfort your heart, relieve your pain, and deeply heal your emotions. Prosperity is yours for the taking. Proclaim with a firm Amen that you will continue to heed my voice and believe in my promises. The era of your triumphs has arrived. Take my hand. You are entitled to happiness and it is my deepest desire to bless you abundantly. I will clothe you with courage and honor. I will raise you up and bestow blessings upon you, especially in the presence of those who once sought to bring you low. I will open the gates of heaven to shower prosperity upon you. Embrace this message, which is meant to rejuvenate your spirit. My Holy Spirit infuses your heart with life, and my power permanently relieves your burdens. In times when you are beset by challenges and weariness weighs heavily upon you, come and find shelter under my wings. In this world, you will find no purer, more selfless love than mine. I seek not your material possessions. Grand gestures cannot sway me. I am not swayed by those who believe wealth can influence my favor. I protect and cherish you, simply because of my love for you. I promise to care for you eternally, vigilant over all aspects of your life. It is my desire for you to extend this care to others, to grow strong enough to shield the vulnerable, wise and prosperous enough to support those in need. Step forward in faith to a realm where miracles are commonplace. I call upon you to heal the sick through your touch. It is my will that you be liberated from financial strife and secure a respectable livelihood. Avoid debt. Do not burden yourself with additional worries or become beholden to creditors. When you encounter someone in need, reach out with assurance. Proclaim my word, shatter the shackles that bind, and pray for liberation. Remember, when you aid the destitute with a genuine heart, I will abundantly increase all that you have offered. Serve generously and without hesitation. Along your path, you may encounter those in need, possibly angels in disguise, testing the purity of your heart and readiness to share. Such acts of kindness are opportunities to amplify your blessings manifold. You are embarking on a new life within a realm where miracles are the norm, where I empower you to confront adversities with divine authority. Engage daily in prayer, seek my presence relentlessly. I urge you to immerse yourself in my word. Delve into the wisdom of Proverbs and the verses of Psalms. Absorb them, articulate them aloud, and let them take root in your heart. 
It's essential for you to feed on my teachings every day, to continuously discover and marvel at the faithful lives my servants led. Observe the signs of the times, yet avoid quarrels over my promises or engage in debates to prove your knowledge. Instead, demonstrate your faith through the trust you place in me. I call you to reach out to those in need with genuine love and compassion. Listen to my voice daily, and remember, I have already forgiven your transgressions and liberated you. Do not be misled. You're not cursed nor shackled by any vice. I offer you sacred freedom, supernatural wisdom, and discernment. I understand there are moments when you feel alone and burdened. It is crucial for you to know that I am with you at every step. The pains of yesterday will not afflict you today. In my presence you will find liberty, peace, tranquility, and blessings. Allow me to transform your life anew, to deepen your loyalty and faith day by day. You are in need of the divine love that I freely offer you every day. For you, there are no boundaries to this love. It is perpetually available day and night through warmth and cold, in moments of joy and in times of trial. Whether you find yourself in the comfort of your room or battling for survival in a distant land, know that my divine love is always with you, and there I will be too. Hear this declaration, for I proclaim it to the ends of the earth, and let the whole universe bear witness. I love you unconditionally. I will never feel shame for you, nor will I ever deny you. Remember, I moved heaven and earth, endured suffering, and on the cross my love for you was sealed through pain and sacrifice, signing the covenant that grants you unfettered access to my love. Now tell me, who can take this love away from you? Who can pluck you from my hand? Do not be afraid. I disregard the accusers who repeatedly bring forth false claims, alleging errors you did not commit and failures that were never yours. I turn a deaf ear to their words, and as they persist in their deceit, they stray further from the love that could redeem them. But you, leave them to their choices, for they wander towards their own destruction. Instead, focus on embracing the affection I extend to you and live your life in its full glory. Cling to the mercy I offer you today. Do not delay your decision to come into my presence, where I will mend your life with my holy love. Embrace it, accept it, revel in it, share it, dream about it, proclaim it. Each time you kneel in prayer, remember to do three things. Give thanks, give more thanks, and then give even more thanks for this eternal love that flows from my grace. You are truly blessed, chosen, and destined to be enveloped in profound, everlasting, divine love. In my hands, I safeguard you and your family. I nurture you, and all your endeavors I will multiply and bless. Embrace the life under the restorative shadow of my love. Dwell within the divine refuge that coats your being with the holy oil that heals rejuvenates, strengthens, and breathes life into your dormant dreams, infusing your weary heart with new vigor. You need not traverse the desolate streets of solitude or succumb to destructive habits and vices. I hear your whispers of loneliness, yet I am ever-present. I love you deeply, a truth I affirm constantly. Connect with me in this moment and experience the surge of a new life, brimming with dreams and aspirations that revitalizes your very being. In me, you have all you need. My heavenly throne is the source of all good things in your life. I'm the giver of your joy and the one who showers you with celestial abundance. When clouds gather and days darken, remember the path you choose is yours. Loneliness and despair 
need not be your companions. Simply raise your hands in gratitude to the skies for the joy and peace I promise are ever yours. In my presence, you will find true happiness. Embrace this step of faith and smile, even when there seems no reason for joy. Stand and wage the good fight of faith. Even when all appears lost, continue to strive for your well-being and that of your family. Consider whose voice you heed. I am your omnipotent God, your heavenly Father who adores you so deeply that I will support you in your most challenging moments and will not allow you to falter. My words are not empty, nor are my promises false. Remember, my word is living and effective, never returning void. If I declare your victory, believe with all your heart and advance boldly. Speak words of faith. Avoid uttering phrases that sow fear and weakness. This message you receive now is meant to empower you, to endow you with divine and supernatural bravery. Though legions may encircle you, they shall not overcome you. Even if medical prognoses seem dire, stand firm in faith, fighting ever more fervently, for you know that I hold the ultimate authority, and I assure that all your endeavors are blessed. I implore you with authority and tenderness to envelop yourself in this mantle of love that I offer, which imbues you with peace, shapes your emotions, and molds your thoughts. This love is the greatest you have known yesterday, that you experience today and that will endure forever. I desire to see joy on your face, to witness you express gratitude with heartfelt joy. Tell me, are you thankful for this love I bestow upon you? Respond to me now. I'm here to bring you serenity and healing. I hold your heart and your feelings gently in my hands, cherishing and safeguarding you with deep affection. Feel my embrace, filled with love. The words you hear now are meant to dissolve all your pain. Remember, I love you. You are my child, irrespective of age or the lines life has drawn upon you. Trust in me and find shelter in my embrace. You have nothing to fear. In my presence, you are safe. My Holy Spirit fills you with love and warmth, transforming your character and rejuvenating your emotions. Your thoughts, words, and beliefs undergo a profound transformation. My word anchors itself in your soul, fortifying your faith. I have heard your cries and seen the despair in your heart. When you felt faint, I hasten to your side to offer protection. Unexpected challenges arise and ungrateful individuals may attempt to project their frustrations onto you. I observe their actions and it astonishes me how in their profound ignorance they misuse the tongue I gave them to wound you and the hands I formed to attempt to break you. They have wandered so far from my light that they cannot see clearly whom they oppose. They fail to recognize that you are under my protection, and though they may wage war against you, they will not see you defeated. I will subdue those who seek to harm you. I will humble those who aim to disgrace you. I will silence the dark forces that have convened, mistaking your gentleness for weakness. Their perception is blurred. They fail to see who stands behind you. But fear not for you are securely under my protection. No one can harm you. In this world, you will encounter hardships, disease, and rumors of conflict. Those who reject my light wander in darkness. Yet humble souls like yours, who cling to simple faith, will triumph in all things. Your victories will not come through wealth or earthly power, but through the enduring strength of my Holy Spirit the wellspring of life that refreshes your soul and bolsters your faith. Go about your day in peace. My mighty hand will guide and shield you from unseen threats. No malevolent force will breach your defenses. Declare boldly, believe deeply in your heart, 
The power of Jesus' blood protects me. No harm can befall me. I invite you to take my hand and follow me down a new path filled with blessings and wonders, with moments of joy and relief. You have battled long and hard. Now is the time for rest. Take a moment to list all your concerns, to write down the fears that sap your joy, peace, and the trust I have placed within you. There is a season for every purpose under heaven, a time to be courageous and a time to find refuge in my embrace. Please, calm your spirit. Put aside those endeavors that stir anxiety, even if just for a short while. Do not press forward until you have spent precious moments with me to replenish your strength. Rise when you feel prepared, yet allow me to take your hand. I will guide you along a path rich with blessings and direct your initial strides. As you approach the base of the mountain, I will fortify you, and from that point onward, I will carry you in my arms. You must reach the summit with your faith invigorated and your spirit bolstered. Upon arrival, I will dispel the clouds and illuminate the horizon, revealing the abundant blessings, descending like nourishing rain upon the earth. The deep desires and gifts your soul yearns for will abundantly flow into your life. This journey marks a fresh path, one we will tread together. You have attempted to achieve these dreams on your own. Dreams I planted within you long ago. Now, you recognize the necessity of my presence. Though the path is fraught with obstacles and the company of unreliable friends, remember, the road may seem daunting, but with me by your side, every step transforms into a beautiful passage. Each challenge you encounter will not dishearten you. Instead, it will infuse you with strength and joy. You will begin to perceive everything through the lens of your faith, understanding why I encourage you daily to endeavor above all to believe. With your eyes open to the supernatural, you will see that those boastful adversaries are not as formidable or significant as they appear, merely roaring like lions to instill fear, all the while knowing that your heavenly Father strides beside you, day and night, as a powerful protector. When you choose to act courageously and strive forward, know that I am here, ever prepared to assist you. Follow me now, take my hand, and let us journey toward your blessings, secure in the knowledge of my unwavering love for you. Amen.